So, uh, like you said, I'm Laurie, uh, COO and co-founder of NPM Inc. Uh, how many of you have heard of NPM? <laughs> uh, how many of you knew that we were a company? See, that's the problem we have. That's why I'm here. It's only about half of you are raising your hands about knowing that we're a company. Uh, so what I'm going to talk about is um, JavaScript in the enterprise very quickly and what doing, doing JavaScript professionally means in 2018. Um, it means modularity with easy discovery. It means frictionless workflows. It means vulnerability management. It means strong access control and compliance. But first, why should you care? Um, or more importantly, why should your company care? Because JavaScript important, is important. This is a JavaScript meetup, so that's probably not a controversial statement uh, in this crowd. But I want to drive home just how important it is, because JavaScript has come an enormously long way in the last few years, and it's sort of caught people by surprise. Uh, this is one of my favorite graphs. It's the NPM downloads graph. Uh, we have 10 million developers using NPM these days. Something like 90% of, the, of all people who use JavaScript are already using NPM every day. Uh, they download over 8 billion packages every seven days, um, which is, uh, in the life of NPM, that's 19,500% growth. Uh, that kind of growth is amazing, uh, but in context, it's even more amazing. We went uh, and actually manually checked uh, the websites of the, of the uh, fifth, top 50 of the Fortune 50 uh, and made sure so that I could say this, all 50 of them are definitely using NPM. Uh, the challenge was Berkshire Hathaway, whose main website is, looks like it was done in 1995. It has nothing. It's just HTML. Luckily, all of their subsidiaries use NPM. Um, all 50 of the 50 biggest financial institutions are already using NPM, all 50 of the 50 biggest tech companies. And we haven't finished checking every single one, but so far, all 500 of the five, Fortune 500 appear to be using NPM as well. We are ubiquitous. Um, and JavaScript itself is also incredibly popular. JavaScript is the most popular language on GitHub, uh, several years running now. Uh, Stack Overflow survey says that JavaScript is the most popular language amongst developers. Uh, and that's backed up by third-party surveys like Slash Data, uh, which thinks that there are something like 11 or 12 million professional developer, uh, JavaScript developers. Um, NPM is also the biggest library of open source of any kind by a huge margin. Uh, so if you put all of those numbers together, it means that something like 50% of all programmers of any kind are using NPM every day. Um, 97% of the code in a modern web application is downloaded from NPM servers. Uh, the last 3% is the part that you write, the part that you spend all of your time on, and all of the rest of it is being downloaded from uh, open source repositories. Um, I feel like I'm, it's obvious that I'm sort of banging the point home here. Um, I could go on and on, but what it boils down to is that JavaScript, for better or worse, has become the most important programming language in the world, which was not the plan. When we were doing form validation in 1997, this is not what we were expecting this to end up as. But this is where we are. Um, so JavaScript is incredibly important, and NPM is central to JavaScript, but I still haven't really answered my question, which is why should you care? Uh, and the reason you should care is because t 10 or even five years ago, JavaScript didn't matter. Um, you had maybe five devs in your company. You, they, were using, you know, they were doing your HTML and their CSS. They had jQuery in there. And it was you know, form validation. It wasn't important. It wasn't central to what you were doing. Um, but now you have hundreds of developers writing JavaScript. They're writing rich web applications uh, that are central to what you do. Um, they're a uh, huge key to uh, digital transformation. Um, you're spending tons of money on JavaScript and generating an enormous amounts of IP in JavaScript. Uh, and in other languages used in the enterprise, like Java and C++, there are professional tools built around those languages. There are tools that will help you monitor what's going on and track quality and make sure that you're getting ROI from all of these hundreds of people who are writing this language for you. But big companies are only just beginning to realize that this is something that they should be doing for JavaScript as well. And the reason that it's only just happening is because of that growth graph I showed you. Five years ago, JavaScript just wasn't as big a thing. And now it is 19,000% you know, bigger. So everyone has suddenly been caught unawares by the fact that this language has become central to what they're doing. So 
how do you professionalize JavaScript? There's two big ways. First, uh, obviously, you need to ship quickly. Uh, part of that is using modular JavaScript effectively uh, by making it easy to discover and not disrupting your existing workflows. Um, and second, you want to ship safely by controlling access to your code, detecting vulnerabilities in your code, uh, and everyone's favorite, ensuring legal compliance. Um, but let's dig a little bit deeper into what I mean by that stuff. Uh, modular JavaScript is key to shipping quickly. If you need an existence proof of that, NPM is it. The exploding popularity of NPM indicates that modular JavaScript probably has some legs. Um, but there's a really relevant study here that I tell people about all the time uh, by a guy called Leo Mayerovich at UC Berkeley. Um, he did a, a full PhD about um, how people choose programming languages. Um, he studied all of the factors that went into, pro in, into what programming language somebody picked uh, for a software project. Um, and the most important one was the availability of open source libraries that were relevant to the task at hand. This was the most important factor over, does my company already use this language? Is this language fast? Does this language have features that I enjoy? Having libraries that did the thing uh, was, the most important th was the most important factor. Uh, and that's relevant because there are 800,000 libraries on NPM. It is the biggest source of libraries. So the, these libraries have this gravitational pull for developers that is pulling people into JavaScript, honestly, whether they like it or not at this point. Um, so it's easy to say that the popularity of JavaScript is, is driving the popularity of NPM, but it is equally true to say that the popularity of NPM, these 800,000 libraries, are also driving the popularity of JavaScript. Um, the explosion of popularity that I'm talking about is the result of making it easy to reuse codes, like magnitudes easier to reuse code in JavaScript than it is in another language, by using simple contracts that don't require a ton of meetings. Um, and you can recreate that same exponential growth inside of your company by uh, creating a culture of collaboration around JavaScript modules within your company, within your own IP. Um, reusing code is obviously fantastic. If 97% of your code is coming from elsewhere, that means that you didn't have to write it. It means that you have features that you wouldn't otherwise have had time to build. It means that you have quality that you wouldn't otherwise had time to put in there. Um, but that's obviously not without downsides, because you train your developers in uh, best practices. You train them in how to you know, write secure code. You do code audits. You're constantly you know, running tests and things. Uh, and all of it applies to the last 3% of your code, and the other 97% of your code is coming from us. Um, malicious code on NPM is a surprisingly rare problem. NPM has very good uh, social contracts and social incentives in place that make it a very rare event. Um, but what is much more common is accidentally vulnerable code. I wasn't trying to screw you. I just sort of accidentally made something really bad that you're using. Uh, and uh, even more common is people not keeping their software up to date even though a patch is available. Uh, earlier this year, NPM started automatically auditing every NPM install uh, that happened with NPM 6 uh, and delivering the results to developers, and we now do more than 4 million of those scans every week. Um, the stats are not good. Half of the scans uh, show some kind of vulnerability, and 11% of them contain a critical vulnerability, the kind of like smash the glass, we should not be shipping this vulnerability. Uh, and it's in 11% of, of installs, and a lot of them are going to banks. Um, we can help you get those numbers down. Uh, NPM's audit functionality will not just tell you if you're installing vulnerable packages, which lots of security products will do in a sort of amorphous, be worried, but we're not going to tell you what to do kind of way. Um, NPM is the thing that installs your JavaScript for you. NPM knows how to upgrade the JavaScript to fix it. So NPM can automatically uh, repair vulnerabilities in a lot of your software. Uh, and when it can't, it can give you uh, detailed instructions about how to do it yourself. Um, which is a real leap forward in JavaScript, uh, in JavaScript security. This was, again, when you know, NPM was put together as a package manager, we were not expecting that to be able to happen. Um, external security through NPM audits is great, but you also need to control internal access without becoming a barrier to workflows. Um, because if you make security a pain in the ass, devs will find a way around it, and that is worse than no security. Um, and finally, there's compliance, which is always a top concern for major financial institutions. Um, Compliance was easy uh, when the answer was we use jQuery. You're just like, okay, jQuery is fine. Um, but it's a lot more complicated when you have thousands and thousands of modules in your tree. Uh, so this all sounds great. 
um, we should professionalize JavaScript, what's stopping us? Um, the answer, especially in finance, is often fear. Fear of exposure, fear of risk. Inflexible IT departments and risk-averse policies uh, can make JavaScript uh, a pain in the ass in a con corporate environment. So our solution to, prevent, to professionalize JavaScript is NPM Enterprise. Um, we are the world's experts in shipping JavaScript quickly uh, and safely, and we built the best tool available to help you do that. Uh, we listen carefully to the needs of enterprise customers, and we put together a piece of software that checks the boxes of your IT department so that you can actually get this software into the door and use it without having to run through uh, you know, a gauntlet or leap through hoops of fire. Um, and like I mentioned, the last point uh, is key, which is that NPM's registry logs are full of IP data showing that finance companies are using NPM whether they admit it or not and downloading lots of insecure software. Um, our only conclusion is that since you know that that's a bad idea, it must be that you don't know that you're doing it. Um, and that's why we're at this event. Um, NPM has a ton of features that I'm not going, NPM Enterprise has a ton of features that I'm not going to go into, uh, including dedicated hardware and networks, single sign-on, private code hosting, your own website, a whole bunch of stuff designed to make JavaScript work in a professional environment. And obviously it's a huge shocker that NPM recommends its own product. Um, but there's a reason it's, that it's so good, and that is because we are the JavaScript people. Uh, we picked the most important programming language, and we doubled down on it. There are a lot of other tools on the market that are trying to be every tool to every language, and as a result, they half-ass every language at the same time. We decided to go deep on JavaScript because JavaScript is the most important language. So, if you think that we can help you out, my colleague Jake and I are going to be here all evening. Our table is over there. Uh, or you can reach out to us on these contact details, and thank you all so much.